hi scorpio welcome back guys i hope you all are doing well today this is going to be for anybody with scorpio placements in their chart make sure you all click and switch the roles take what resonates leave what doesn't fit for your situation thank you all so much for your love your supports and your donations i'm sending you all peace love happiness joy healing and light on your journey anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box and please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with y'all. <clears throat> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Please and thank you. Block any interferences that could be trying to stop the messages from coming through and protect me as I channel for Scorpio. So let's see. Let's see what the... What spirit has to say let's see what's going on for scorpio so we got the nine of cups the tower aries here pisces somebody could be on the cusp or not okay two of cups hmm. cancer venus here pisces jupiter so something shocking is coming in here about a relationship, about a partnership. Something could be falling apart in order for a partnership to come in, okay? Um, somebody could be realizing that they're in love with you or this is you realizing you're in love with them. But there's a tower moment though. <laughs> there's a tower. I feel like, I don't know, with the surrounding cards, it looks good. A wish is coming in. There's wish fulfillment. Nine of cups, the tower, the two of cups. Let's see what else. Wow, yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Taurus, Mercury. What else? The King of Pentacles, Taurus. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini, bottom of the deck, the star. Aquarius. Mm, so there could be some sort of like attack on attack on your relationship this knight of swords in reverse is giving upset like somebody could be mad about something um hmm. i'm just looking like what the fuck why why just why <sighs> Somebody could be like a bit of a coward or something. Like they're not, they're not approaching. Somebody's not taking a lead in something or seizing an opportunity. This this could talk about too, like inferiority complex or somebody's just like arrogant or something like that. But let's see. Somebody just could just be an attack on your love life here. Any kind of relationship you get in, somebody's like mad about it or something. Oh, child. What's the nine of cups? It's like every time something good come in for the collective, this shit always comes in. Like, why? Just get a fucking life. What's the nine of cups, spirit? Two of wands. Yeah, a partnership. The tower. <laughs> Again, you guys could be seeing 616 or 1616. Okay. But yeah, the Tower and the Nine of Cups, I mean, and the Two of Wands. So there could be some sort of partnership coming in or there's some sort of, um, you've turned your back on a situation and you're planning for your future here, Scorpio. And so it's causing some sort of tower. There could be something shocking that's coming out or being revealed to you, which is going to help you make a decision about something, maybe about moving forward and just, you know what I'm saying, taking care of you, Nine of Cups here, working on you, pampering yourself here, self-love, self-care, whatever. But something has came out, something has been revealed, and it could be being revealed, something could be being revealed about a partnership or somebody's trying to ruin some sort of partnership. It's just always something when somebody's trying to ruin something for somebody because they're fucking miserable and they ain't got no fucking life. Yeah, look, Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Somebody here could be pregnant. 
Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Devil. Mm, 505 on a timer. What's what's this tower? What's the tower? The Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, an awakening. Yeah, Libra Jupiter. What's the tower with the Four of Swords in reverse? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Child, somebody, they tower ain't looking too good. I don't know, but this Ace of Pentacles is a loss of money, a loss of finance. This could be a loss of a car, a home, a job. Okay, something is falling apart in someone's life here. And I feel like it's just because you're awakening. Once you awaken to somebody's weird ass behavior, a lot of they shit start falling apart here. Spirit can't really do much of anything until you awaken. So that way you can move out of the way. You feel me? Like something is falling apart. Somebody's losing something. Hmm. I feel like you're gonna get you. I feel like you're gonna see somebody's karma playing out. Yeah, Eight of Swords, mm, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. Well, let me see. What's this Four of Swords in reverse? Somebody here could be like restless, fatigued. They're tired. Okay, they're somebody. I feel like you're going to witness somebody like losing their mind somebody here really doesn't have it together up in the head and um they're refusing to like get the help that they need to get better it's like they feel like they don't need any help what's the four swords in reverse oh child yeah i'm saying want yeah somebody for some of you they could be sick somebody could be sick here or something is just too much for someone to bear it's just a lot but the Ten of Wands is definitely you walking away from something. Whatever was burdening you or draining you or stressing you out, you're walking away. And it's definitely going to cause a loss for their ass, whoever they are, because you were carrying somebody else's dead weight. Or carrying somebody else's shit here instead of having them carry it themselves. Mm. What's the Two of Cups? Yeah, there's a new beginning in love here. The the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I just saw the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely... You could be meeting somebody on online with the world in the Eight of Wands. So you could be online dating. Okay. I'm getting with the Knight of Swords 2 and the Two of Cups. Let this person lead here follow their lead okay because the knight of swords in reverse is like a follower their follower but i feel like in this situation in a good way okay really go with the flow is what i'm getting with that with that knight of swords in reverse too with this connection go with the flow 828 on the clock and y'all know i don't like going i don't like hearing that go with the flow shit when i say go with the flow yeah you need to make sure everything is reciprocal don't just, you know what I'm saying? Make sure this person is communicating and letting you know where the flow is going. Okay? Like, you know, like really pay attention. But, you know, let somebody have, give give somebody enough breathing room in order for them to show you who they are. Okay? Just put it that way. That's what I mean. But if you see the flow ain't going nowhere, please walk away. Don't waste your fucking time. <laughs> Don't even do it. But, um, yeah, so there's a new beginning. There's a cycle closing out and there's a new beginning coming through. It looks like in a connection, a relationship, a partnership, whatever. And I feel like it's going to happen very quickly. There's going to be like chemistry here. I don't know, but there could be definitely some communication going on online. So what's the five of pentacles in reverse? Your finances could be improving. You're definitely releasing or letting go of a relationship for some of you. Yeah, two of pentacles. Five Pentacles in Reverse Spirit with the Two of Pentacles. Capricorn, Jupiter. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are coming out of some sort of financial hardship here. Or you just released a certain part of yourself here where you were always feeling left out in the cold. You, you're releasing a certain part of... Um, you've healed a certain part of yourself, rather. 
something about your finances are improving. So you're going, you're doing a good job at balancing things out, keeping things balanced. Um, making better financial decisions or you, yeah, look, Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. Something, something is coming into balance. This could be a counterpart. Okay. Something about someone's finances are improving in order to bring balance into a connection or something or you're just going to meet somebody that's balanced yeah two of cups three of wands and the six of wands so there's something there's growth and expansion here with the connection that could be already here for some of you or it could be that's coming through it's coming in with the three of wands you and this person could be at a distance But yeah, there, there's a victory coming in here. Let's see. What's this King of Pentacles doing? The Magician, Virgo, Gemini, and the Ace of Swords. So there's some sort of clarity. There's some sort of breakthrough that somebody is having. And they're standing in their power. So somebody is manifesting here. What are you manifesting? Or oh, this is... Uh, What's the magician spirit? Yeah, four cups to move out of a stalemate. So something here is is moving. There's somebody here. They're not in this self-absorbed energy. They're seizing opportunities. Things are moving. Somebody's not stuck anymore. They reclaim their power, whoever this is, or this is you. What's the ace of swords? Yeah, the star. So it could be an Aquarius. What's the ace of swords? The lovers. Gemini. I broke. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Um. This little boy made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> so there is clarity around a relationship. I feel like somebody has made a decision. There's balance here coming into a connection or you're just going to meet more uh, balanced people, people that are balanced within themselves. Their masculine and their feminine is balanced because maybe this is your masculine and feminine balancing out. Okay, because I mean, this doesn't always have to be another person, but it could be if you have a counterpart here. But... I feel like you're just make, making more meaningful connections at this point. Because this could be you meeting a higher level soulmate or kindred spirit or something. I don't know, but there's definitely a breakthrough, though, in, in love, I feel like, in your connections. There's going to be more beneficial partnerships coming in for you. Yeah, it looks good to me. Somebody has made a decision or a choice about something. Let's see, what's the Knight of Swords in reverse? King of Cups. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse with the King of Cups? Yeah, look, Two of Cups. <laughs> Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Temperance. Let me see, who this King of Cups right here, Spirit? Who is this? The moon. What's this King of Cups with the moon? Cancer Pisces and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so whoever this King of Cups is, <clears throat> this person here is in love with you. They have feelings for you, but they're hiding something or they're lying about something or they're just not telling you that they're in love with you. And I feel like you've walked away from them because you're not emotionally, you're not, you're not being satisfied there. This person could be walking away from someone because they have feelings for you. They love you. And there's somebody attacking y'all too. I don't know. But let me see. I'm so sick of this shit, man. Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Five of Wands. What's this moon? 
Mm, yeah, this is a big ass secret here. <laughs> like Age of Swords. Um, let me see what's the moon with the high priestess. Pisces. Oh. Okay, I picked these up in reverse. Taurus, Libra here with the Empress, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. There could have been some sort of unexpected pregnancy here or there's an unwanted pregnancy. For some of you, the child is not even this person's or yours or whatever the case may be. Somebody's hiding something big here. And I feel like it's about a baby mother and a child or there, there's a false, there's a distorted feminine in someone's energy. So I feel like you're moving into a new cycle of love, Scorpio. I just don't feel like it's going to be with this particular person because at least not right now anyway. Like, I feel like you're going to end up being in love with someone else. And this person is going to come in at some point to say that they love you or something like that. Like, it's a lot going on. This person could be scared to confront you or scared to say something to you because there's somebody that's just distorted. This person, whoever, when this person doesn't get what they want, they act out. There's like drama here. So somebody here feels stuck. Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, or they just scared to come towards you because they don't want this baby mother of theirs to act a damn fool or something like that. It's something. And they're hiding this from you. Somebody here, you're you're out of somebody's league. Okay, with the Knight of Swords in reverse is what it's giving. What's this Two of Cups? Seven of Swords, the Sun, and the Death card. Leo here, Aquarius, Moon, uh, Scorpio. That's you. The Sun and the Moon is there. Seven of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this two of cups down here is different from that one up there. The energy is so different. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to meet somebody online on a dating app or something. Or it could be anything, Twitter, any kind of social media. I don't know. But I feel like this two of cups here is going to be different from this one. This one down here is a mess. Excuse me. Like there's love. There could be love between you and somebody. Excuse me. And you could have actually wanted it to work with them. But this person got to sneak around here to love you. That's what it looks like. They have to be really strategic. And I feel like y'all both make each other happy. But this person is going through some sort of transition or ending right now. That's what it looks like. I don't think they're a bad person. I just feel like right now. And then with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's an attack on y'all's love connection. But I feel like this person is a bit of a coward. They're not... They're lying, too. It's like they're lying. That's the, the main thing. They're lying. That trust is going to take a while to be built back up. You feel me? Hmm. Child. It says, it's, your t it's time for you to be uniquely and proudly and proudly yourself, regardless of any perceived societal standards. Don't try to squeeze yourself into a box that doesn't fit your outline. Be you. So yeah, I feel like you're embracing everything that you are. You really are here. And I feel like you're going to meet the person that's for you because you're doing that. Like you're going to find somebody that really understands your vibe, understands who you are. You know, like it's, it's going to feel refreshing. It says, get in touch with your feminine energy, the side of you that is nurturing, intuitive, compassionate, and playful. This will bring more balance to your life. Yeah, so getting your feminine energy, yeah, this is, there is a romantic love, whether in your life now or arriving in the near future, that is divinely blessed. Exactly. So you need to be in this receiving energy. Like I said, go with the flow. Let this relationship flow how it's supposed to flow. Don't force nothing. Don't rush nothing. 7-Eleven on the clock. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the energy is reciprocal. Speak up about your needs, your wants, whatever. And if they don't like it, oh, well, another one bites the fucking dust, bitch. Okay, you can go. Just, you know, you know what to do now. I feel like you're at that point. 
It says, this is a period of purging and releasing karmic contracts, subconscious blockages, and other past experiences or energies. You may feel uncomfortable symptoms. Breathe and surrender to this deep healing. Yeah. Yeah. So as you're purging and releasing, there's other, there's better contracts coming in with new people or a particular person. I don't know. But it says you are meant to blossom at this stage in your life and you will find that you will be receiving more attention, recognition, and praise for a job well done. Enjoy this moment. Yeah, something is going on with your finances too. <laughs> something is definitely balancing out with your money, your stability, your security, or you feel insecure in your relationships here as you're releasing one relationship. There's security. There's a relationship coming in that's going to make you feel secure. You know, I feel like your issue here, Scorpio, is... um. People not coming to the table with anything. Like, they're coming to the table expecting you to be the leader and so on, especially if you're a woman. You know, but even as a man, it's just like, people need to come to the table with some shit. Don't come empty-handed and then expect me to do something. Like, to... to you're not going to be codependent on me, just period. <laughs> like, I don't... Mm. It says, this is a time of heightened creativity golden ideas and personal growth you may be taking on a new hobby or a leap of faith with a business endeavor trust your talents and put yourself out there something could be going on with your business you could have psychic abilities here and there's a partnership that's actually going to bring more knowledge to you here this person could know a lot they're stable they're secure too they could be a business partner to you yeah yeah this person is going to help you make or help you create more material abundance and prosperity and bringing more prosperity, you know, into your life. So, whoever this King of Pentacles is, is matching the Queen of Pentacles. That's a match. What else? Take some time to slow down. Try to prevent yourself from mindlessly rushing through each moment on autopilot. There is much more to see. Stop and smell the roses. Let me see something. Who, uh, Spirit, who is this, um, King of Cups right here? Let me see something, guys. friend zone not today yeah this is somebody here that's ignoring you they left you on red or they're leaving you on red all the time they put you in a friend zone unrequited love platonic connection unreciprocated affections yeah look <laughs> wine and dine courtship consistently dating romance and passion sliding through phone call text messages emails dms and tendering online dating seeking love interest meeting new people yeah for some of you guys you're going to meet somebody really nice on tinder or on a dating website whatever you know whatever you're going to meet somebody and somebody here and put you on a back burner somebody that puts you on a back burner here they could have a std or they call the std from whoever this shit is whoever this bitch is right here that they're dealing with that they got you on hold for <laughs> oh child okay let's see let's see what come out for this king of cups so that was at the bottom of the day usually those cards are on point anyways yeah flexing showing off prideful and conceited flashy and boastful what else for king of cups mm. we have the cleanse in reverse detox purification ridding negative energy i mean negativity <laughs> So there's something that's not purged out of their energy yet. This is why, this is why they, they're not coming towards you or why spirit is blocking them because it's just like heart to heart, deep conversations, intimate discussions, blunt and honest. What's heart to heart? I feel like they do want to have a heart to heart with you, but they... Yeah, lucky break, good fortune, good things coming, turning point. What's hard to hard? Reading up, doing the research, learning more, gaining insight. I feel like this is their insecurities. Yeah, keeping tabs in reverse, creeping on the low, observing closely, staying connected. What's 
What's the cleanse in reverse? High vibing. Good vibes, living to the fullest, enjoying the present. I feel like this person, they have feelings for you. They do want to have a heart to heart with you. They want to have some sort of conversation with you. And for some of you, this is them. Like, they're purging this shit out here. But I just feel like they got to sneak and come towards you because they have somebody that's negative around them. So it's like, once they get a break or once they can finally get away from this, then they'll come. I just don't like all the extra shit around this connection. Mm, I don't know. I guess when the time comes for y'all to say something to each other, you just will. But I don't know. Right now, that shit look crazy as hell to me. It look crazy as hell. And I don't like I don't like this. Something is not purged out of somebody's energy yet. Even though they could be high vibing and things like that. Or this energy would throw you off. If this person comes into your life and they got this fucking drama here, you're already high vibing. You're living life to the fullest and enjoying the present. But with this person not cleansing their energy and bringing this shit back to you like this like half-assed you're going to be thrown off and it's crazy because i feel like you love this person but they got they got shit with them i don't know i don't like it <laughs> i mean sounds complicated scorpio Put the King of Cups right here, Spirit. Put the King of Cups. Yeah, not enough. Yeah, insecurities, exactly. Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustrations. What's, what's, what else for this King of Cups? Healing heart. Healing heartbreak, toxicity, or addiction, abusive relationships. So, yeah, they could be healing. They're healing from some sort of abusive relationship. Or, yeah, longing. Craving, aching, wanting. What else for this King of Cups? Exhaustion. Depletion, drain, long journey. What else? Shallow. Hollow, empty, and boredom. Yeah, boundaries. <laughs> yeah. Time, waiting, cycles, moments. Yeah, this is somebody that you're in a cycle with continuously. Whoever this is right here that got feelings for you, I feel like you're just, you've outgrown them. I really do. I really feel like that. And they keep resisting you. They keep holding back. It's it's just a lot with this person. They're not they're not really doing what they're supposed to be doing when it comes down to you. So yeah, I feel like you're gonna have a chance to meet somebody new, and that could potentially be the person that um you're gonna be spending time with. <laughs> like I don't know, something could be moving really quickly with this person. Whoever this is up here, there's just two of cups up here, and then we got two of cups right there. So. Mm. And this is falling over the world here. There's a new beginning in love coming in. And I just feel like you're just keep you just keep passing test after test after test. Like these cycles are closing out for you. You just keep moving forward. Because I feel like, you know, you're the one that's free in the situation. You're free. Or you you know how you knew how to free yourself from whatever it is you needed to free yourself from in order to be as free as a bird. <laughs> like you're you're good. You know, this person is the one that's stuck or they went backwards or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it says, know that the worst is over for you now. You may have recently endured a heavy karmic lesson, but you have mastered it and come out a much stronger person. You are in a process of recovery and will soon be ready to look forward. Exactly. Yeah, look, showing your vulnerability is a strength not a weakness be expressive with your emotions and don't be afraid to put your heart on the line if someone can't return the same to you that's a reflection of their own fear at least you can say you did your best exactly this is what you're learning you're learning how to do this to regardless of how people are that's just people but you aren't supposed to close your heart off you're supposed to still you know have an open heart so that way you'll be able to accept your blessings when they come in you'll, you'll know when a blessing comes in if you do the work right 
you'll be able to tell the difference between something that's toxic and a mess versus an actual blessing, something that's good for you. So it's important that you stay vulnerable. And like I told you, if somebody is not reciprocating the love, the support, whatever, then you back out, period. You know? Don't let shit go so far to the point where you, now you kind of like, you let shit go so far to the point where now you're scared to say something or it's like, you you know say that shit up front so everybody know what's clear and what you know what you what they need to do because you know so yeah you're over here completing karmic lessons i'm not saying that this person is not i just feel like right now this person is just chickening out like they're not saying anything to you and they're, they're lying like they're not being direct about anything you don't know where you stand with somebody and that's a no that's a big fat no for me anyways so i don't know scorpio let me know in the comments what's going on Okay, this was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.